Welcome to the first ever map making direct. Today we will show you the new Minecraft content we have been working on. We will also show you some behind the scenes and show you some of the tools we are using. Without further ado let's start with our first batch of maps. Fruit Ninja is a recreation of the popular app of the same name. In it, you have to cut all the fruits without hitting the bomb. Cutting multiple fruits at the same time create a combo and yield more points. Yes, what you've just seen are Minecraft maps. It's a memory game inspired by the game Larson Laser by Doc Geroud, in which you have to remember the crosses placed to avoid them and reach the victory flag. This game uses the new Minecraft command, slash camera. This command is incredible and can be used in many different ways. I think I've fallen in love with this command. To bring this captivating map to life, I began by creating and stacking levels until I reached the edge of the world. At the same time, I exploited the advantages of a compiler designed by the Blue Man 003, a true revolution in map design. One of the key elements of this immersive experience lies in the way I chose to present the 2D world. Rather than positioning it vertically like a wall, I opted for a flat layout. This approach proved particularly judicious, as it allowed me to rotate the camera fluidly. This considerably enriched the visual and immersive experience I wanted to offer players. Now that you know everything, it's time to move on to the next maps.
Infinity Loop is a recreation of the phone app of the same name. In it, you have to spin the different part of the puzzle to make every part connect and reveal the image. You've seen it. It's Platform Parkour 2. This map will be a sequel to Platform Parkour, with a new story and a new adventure. This map will also be multiplayer. You may have seen only 3 worlds in this teaser, but it will actually contain 10, or even 11 for a bonus world. And again, what you've just seen may change, with some features enhanced. In Protect the Scientist, you will have to you guess it, protect the scientist. Buy and place turret around the scientist to protect him during all the wave, you will also have to fight bosses. The next few maps are a bit more work in progress than the one shown before. Fruit Blitz will be a multiplayer minigame in which one team will be in charge of harvesting as much fruit as possible, and the other team will be in charge of stopping them. The game is also inspired by a Nintendo Land game entitled, Animal Crossing, Sweet Day. What you've just seen isn't final, it could be completely modified, and we may also add several new game modes in the future. I can't wait to see how this map turns out. I really missed the minigame maps. Blockception Dropper is still work in progress but as you can in this map you will be tiny. We are using new technology from 1.19.4 to improve upon the tiny visual. This time blocks can be animated. As you can see, Meow Meow Dance will be a new rhythm map. It was inspired by a Nintendo Land game called Octopus Dance. Obviously, everything you've just seen is subject to change, and we may add more functionality and concept to the game in the future. Meow Meow Dance will also be a completely interactive cutscene map, an adventure for two cats who were unable to train for a dance contest. You, the player, will be called upon to replace the main cat's best friend, who has broken his leg, in order to win the dance contest.
Light up is still work in progress. In this map you will have to power the lamp with a light ray of the same color. You will be able to use mirror, splitter, colored glass, prism and much more. Guess My Drawing is a multiplayer map where one player draw a word and the other players have to guess that word. All of the maps shown today were made using our new compiler called Starlight. Starlight compile a custom C-like programming language into Minecraft commands. It is capable of creating both data pack for Minecraft Java edition and behavior pack for Bedrock edition. You can find out more about it on the GitHub page. But please note if you are using it that it still is an alpha and that there might still be bugs. We're almost at the end of this direct, but before we do, we've got two more surprises for you. Moonfall will be a 2D map in the still of Super Mario Run. In it, you will have multiple ability like double jump, wall jump, or super speed. Super Mario 3D World in Minecraft, you're not dreaming. But of course, we don't know yet whether this map will see the light of day, for reasons you can guess. If it does, Mario 3D World in Minecraft will be an adventure that can be played solo or in multiplayer. This map will also take a long time to complete, and much of what you've just seen will be changed for the better. However, since my vacation is almost over, these maps will take some time to complete. I still have a lot of content ideas to create, but of course I can't do them all at once. One last announcement, you may have heard of my second channel, ZFox Shorts. Well, it's probably going to become a behind the scenes channel in the future, in which we'll show you how the maps are made and maybe even give you some details you missed in our maps. I want this to be a channel I want to show you, and it can be anything. In that case, we hope to see you soon on ZFox and the Blue Man 003. Bye bye! <laughs>